welcome everybody um, this is the course on using git for version control uh, the course materials is based on uh, the materials uh, written uh, at the software carpentry website and I've uh, given the link to this website so uh, our course materials for this course will be based on the uh, materials available over there I'm going to uh, also show the link in the browser in a minute um, uh, I'm Krishna Kumar Gopalakrishnan. I have recently just uh, handed in my PhD thesis and defended my uh, thesis. Um, I'm at the Mechanical Engineering Department here at Imperial College London. Presently, I'm affiliated with the Computational Methods Hub, uh, which is interested with uh, uh, the teaching uh, of software, um, common software practices for researchers um, in research applications throughout the college. Um, so with that introduction, let us go uh, to this website and to see what we are going to learn today. So I'm going to click on this page and the browser should pop up and we're going to learn about version control with Git. Okay, uh, you can follow on um, on your laptop uh, by going to this website software carpentry swcarpentry.github.io forward slash git hyphen wise. Okay, um, so what is Git and why do we need version control? So this page will provide a brief introduction on why we need to use um, some kind of a version control system. And there is a story being set up here. However, um, just to give you a brief summary, uh, version controlling is absolutely essential. It's an invaluable tool for keeping track of all your history of your work. And this is particularly suited for something where you work on plain text. Your research codes, your latex papers, any other plain text documents that you may write, your markdown files of quick notes, all of that is in plain text and they can be controlled uh, uh, using a revision control system. So you can access past versions of the same document and you can move back and forth in your revision history and this is also particularly useful when you're collaborating with your uh, colleagues on a paper for example if you are writing a paper and your colleague is writing that paper with you uh, they can write their own sections independent of yours and then you can just merge them up and uh, and also if they are writing some section where you are contributed to you can also see what differences have happened uh, between your two versions um, and uh, the other alternative is to email back and forth changes and that's clearly uh, not the uh, not a synchronous way of working it's more like an antiquated way of working because clearly you don't know which version of the email document that you're talking about there is no version control uh, stamping uh, or there's no version control that you can refer to you cannot say i'm working on this version of the document on this particular commit tag uh, or any of that so it will be very confusing if you email back and forth the documents um, and therefore uh, let me try to motivate you why we need to use version control system and I'm going to briefly cover the setup process so I will go through the setup process next but first I want to talk about automated version control system and what is it and the material over here has a beautiful image as a as a nice illustration showing why we need this okay i'm assuming this situation has probably happened to some of you in the past right so you think that you have got a, a document and this is particularly in uh, pertaining to phd students right the so you think that you got a, an almost finished version of the document you show it to your supervisor and the supervisor being the nice person that he is or they are uh, they are going to say okay there's some changes that you need to do and then when you make those changes clearly they are not happy i mean they're never satisfied it's not their fault it's just what their job is uh, to get to perfection isn't it and then you keep doing it forever until you feel lost and you think why did I come to graduate school, right? So I've seen like people who use non plain text documents. For example, you can use Microsoft Word or uh, any other word processing system for writing your documents, right? Now, the problem with those documents is that track changes uh, ability is fairly limited. So you cannot have um, a very fine controlled ability to describe the kind of changes that has gone into each version of the document. 
particularly after you have accepted those changes you will never know what and later on in a month's time if you want to revise those changes and revisit those changes that is particularly hard and this is not just uh, for microsoft word it's generally true for any word processing platform be it LibreOffice or be it google docs this is what you would find contrast it to that if you write your text in a plain text system like latex or markdown then you can have a, a, a very fine controlled um, versioning system that can be incorporated into your workflow and that is the basic take home message of this we're going to go into the details of how you would go into the version control but it's as i already mentioned it's particularly useful for writing your research papers and that is the motivation uh, for this course for taking this course uh, in the next video i'm going to briefly cover the setup process this should be identical to the um, to the shell setup process that you have learned in katarina's video um, so I can uh, briefly revise that. So that's going to be a short video. So see you then. Thank you.